All right, well, here it is, guys. Here is my Ducati. I am back. The next day, I'm back at the Ducati dealer. Dropped it off yesterday. This is uh, Newport Beach Ducati. And there's the, there are my friends over there in the service bay. I just did a 2,000 mile service on this bike. And I had to get my, my, uh, my rear blinker fixed because I damaged it when I was bringing it down, when I was bringing it down here. Okay, there we go. She's all fired up. So yeah, so I had to, uh, I had to have them replace this little guy right here. So that was damaged when I, uh, when I had the bike in the trailer. And, uh, so it's fixed now. And I had them do the, uh, oil and filter change. And then they just give it, you know, they go through it. There's a whole checklist of everything that they checked and topped off fluids. And then what was the other deal? Oh yeah, my fork seal, my right fork seal over here. I guess I had uh, damaged it by ratcheting it down too tightly in the uh, in the trailer. So, so it's all good as new. Goodbye, Ducati. Until next time. I tell you, I have to tell you. So, any of you short riders out there, I mean, this little. Ducati night shift and probably any of the scramblers are just I mean look at this I can flat foot it I can flat foot it no problem whatsoever so we'll be going down here and hopping on PCH and heading uh, heading north actually heading north we came south to get here and now we will be heading north Now I know what everybody wants to know. Do you uh, do you like paying those dealer fees? And I will be honest with you, I do not. I I know I bragged about or or whatever. I don't know if bragging is the right word. Maybe lamented the fact that I don't do my own maintenance, and I could see where why people learn how to work on these bikes, because paying the dealer to do stuff is is uh is a little pricey so um this this actually wouldn't would have only been about well let's see i had them replace the uh the oil and filter change is about 375 on these things which those are harley prices as i recall from my brief time of owning a harley but then you know everything just adds up by the time you know with the turn signal replacement and then that blown fork seal. Yeah, the whole service was about 800, 800 bucks. $800. And uh, that's a lot of money. That's a lot of money. So, anyway. But, I'm a guy who believes in taking care of my bikes. And if I can't do the service, then I guess that's what I have to do. I have to pay somebody who, uh, who can and will. And I don't know, listen. It gives me peace of mind to know that that a professional mechanic serviced this bike and went through it. They know what to look for. That's how they spotted the uh, the, the bad fork seal. So anyway, so yeah, so I, I uh, I'll pay the I'll pay the guys to fix my bike until I go and learn how to be a mechanic I guess maybe maybe in my next life I'll be that guy but in this life I'm the guy who rides them all right So uh, in my last video, I was talking about all this cloud cover, this marine layer that, that you experience on the coast. And this is a good example of it this morning because it's all socked in, as you can see. But I like it. It's, uh, it's, uh, it keeps it nice and cool.
All right, well, here we are back on the Ducati, on the little Ducati Night Shift Scrambler. Uh, this was just serviced at the Ducati dealer in Newport Beach, and I have to tell you, uh, feels like a feels as good as new. Now, granted, this bike only has. Let's see, what does it have? What does it have? 2,225 miles. So this is not a bike I put a ton of miles on. I'm sorry. What were we talking about? Oh yeah. Okay, we were uh, we're talking about uh, having just had this serviced at the Ducati dealer. And uh, yeah, this is not a bike I put a ton of miles on. It's just not for me. It's not that kind of bike. It's uh, it's more just kind of a local ride bike. Just kind of get out and uh, and scratch that itch. Get a little bit of a a, a ride in. It's kind of like having that you know that sports car in the garage, I suppose. That's kind of what this is. So yeah. So I also ride a, a 2018. Goldwing, and that's if I want to get out and crush some miles, why that would be the bike I would be doing it on. This is just my little ripper. The little ripper. But I learned something at the dealership just now when I picked it up, and that is that uh, that if I knew how to work on bikes, man, I could probably save myself some money. Yeah, they, uh, I like, I like taking it to a professional mechanic. I believe in, prof you know, I believe in them. I believe that that's their job. And, uh, and they know what they're doing. You know, I'm not one of these guys that's all cynical. I do think they charge too much money. But, uh, but that's part of uh, the cost of ownership, isn't it? So I know Ducati's, uh, you know, kind of like Harley's, man. They, you know, the services tend to be a little bit more expensive than uh, maybe a Honda dealer. But I don't know that that's actually... I mean, I assume that's true, but I don't know that that's true. You know, these exotic little, um, it, like this Italian Ducati, right? Um, for some reason, things cost a little bit more. But I guess maybe I understand it more so than, say, a Harley Davidson. You know, how they talk about the Harley tax you pay when everything with a Harley is, seems to be more expensive. And I think you run into that with other, other bike manufacturers as well. And no doubt, uh, maybe there's something, a Ducati tax? I don't know. But I also believe that, you know, that things cost what they cost. And, and if you don't want to pay it, you better know how to do it yourself then. And I'm not that guy, which is well documented. All right, coasting along the coast on the Ducati Scrambler. Freshly serviced by the Ducati dealer. Thanks for checking out this video, everybody. This is JP1970. Stay safe and uh, keep that thing upright. Keep the shiny side up, as they say. And, uh, and I will catch you in the next one. Thanks for checking out this video. Take care now.